All right, everybody, welcome back to my nail corner. This is my first post vacation Manny video. I am showing you two weeks of a Manny that Miranda over at Corgi's Wine and Nails did for me. I had slight lifting by the end of two weeks, but overall, such a great long lasting Manny through every day in the pool and suntan lotion and all of the things you do on vacation. So I apologize in advance for all the talking I'm gonna do through this video and kind of the hot mess that it is but it's a compilation of a couple of things that I was not going to film or filmed and then was not going to share but decided to because I just wanted to share all of it with my nail friends so here we go so this is a really brief uh, look at what I did to remove a two week old Manny. You know I usually use peel base under my Manny, but when you want it to last two weeks and not have lifting, you don't use any of that. So this is builder gel plus dip. And on my left hand, I had dip top coat. And on my right hand, I had gel top coat, which was a little experiment we were doing to see if it wore any differently. And really overall, it wore the same. If anything, I think that the gel top coat um, sealed in the mani a little better, if that makes sense. Like I had lifting on my left hand slightly before my right hand. Both top coats had the slightest bit of yellowing that you could only tell over the white, which I think, I don't know that I found a brand that doesn't eventually yellow over white and uh, especially when you're putting your hands in a pool full of chemicals, you're putting your hands in suntan lotion, um, and just in general being out in the sun almost all day every day because I'm from the Pacific Northwest and here in Washington, we don't get the longest summers. So I was on the East Coast and I was soaking up the sun as you can tell by the tan on my hands. So anyway, all that to say, all of the Triple D products that I had on my hands held up really well. I was super pleased and here I am at the end of two weeks removing it. Now, I am just showing you the filing I'm doing to my thumb. I filed through all three plus, might have been more than three, but at least three dips until I could start to see the builder gel and then I soaked off. So I'm gonna let you finish watching me just file away at that thumb and that is a ceramic bit. I think I need a new one. It took a little more time than I think it should have for what's supposed to be a pretty toothy grit um, drill bit. I want to try uh, carbide bits. So if you've used carbide bits and like them or have used carbide or cer and ceramic and have any tips on which one you prefer, drop a comment and let me know what you think. But I'm going to be back with you in just a second. You're going to see me um, show you what my nails look like filed and then wrap in foil. And I'll be back in a minute to explain the rest of this video. Okay, just kidding. I'm not going anywhere because it's going to come up too fast. I want to explain. So this removal was days before the Manny that I'm going to show you guys. I did another Manny for um, another YouTube channel. I'll share that with you guys when it comes out. But um, this, so I wanted to show you this removal, but the, the Manny that's coming up, I wasn't intending to film. I was just going to do pictures and post pictures after. But as soon as I started into it, I was like, shook and I don't use that term lightly so I had to share it with you guys so anyway that was my foil wrap I went and soaked off started from scratch builder gel takes a long time to soak off but I finally got to buy bare, bare nails filled in my builder gel gel did a little bit of extensions on my nails so you'll see they're looking a little bit long there and um, I got these city girl decals in the mail while I was on vacation I forgot to share those in my haul video those came um, for me to try out and you're going to be seeing more from those in the future also i'm going to have a discount code in the box below for you guys look at those cute little pumpkins um and then the tester look at that tester strip i'm like i'm gonna wear those hearts on my nails for sure anyway check below i have a discount code for you guys and you'll be seeing more from them in the future but this is nail addiction so i'll talk more about the decals later but let me tell you about nail addiction I had not tried their products before, so I wasn't going to film this because I was really nervous. So their 
base and top is one liquid. So base and top, one liquid. And looking at it in the bottle, it looked really thin, which made me nervous. I mean, I like thin liquids, but I was worried that they would be runny. And so I was kind of scared to death to use them for the first time. And when I dipped that pinky into the powder, I was like, I gotta turn on the camera and share this with you guys. First of all, this is one of their new fall release colors. It's called Hayride. It's like a deep chocolate brown and it has this fine shimmer to it. At the very end of this video, I'm gonna show off the shimmer um, with the camera flash on for you guys. Check it out because it's gorgeous. And I honestly didn't know how I would feel about this. And then I put it on, I did these nail wraps, which also, if you guys haven't noticed, I'm not a big like orange, brown, green girl. I mean, my skin is, you know, green toned, olive tone, but I don't generally wear those colors and I am digging this vibe. I, I don't know, it's just totally grown on me and I'm in love. The liquids went on so smooth and then I dipped in that powder and it was so full coverage, I was in awe like truly shocked had to share it with you guys because it was such a good experience so make sure you hop on over to nail addiction if you haven't tried them yet and give them a try i will see if i can get a discount code and if i do i will drop it in the comments for you guys or not in the comments in the description box for you guys um in my last video my vacation haul i had some other colors that i got from them and i kind of can't wait to get them on my nails because this was such a good experience so i am going to finish up with dipping three fingers in this chocolatey brown and then i'm going to do two fingers in white the white i'm going to be using is ivory white from double dip and um, it's because under nail wraps, a light color is the best base. So I wanted to use a white. Um, this is my first time using nail wraps. So it's gonna be quite the experience for you guys to witness. Oh, after I finish these chocolate brown nails, I am using Nail Addiction Clear over them. So you can see how that goes. And it's great. I mean, I don't see any like weird bubbles or specks or anything. And a true test of clear is putting it over a dark color. So I really tested it out. Anyway, back to the nail wraps. So City Girl decals sent me over these nail wraps. I was excited to try them. I have done water slide decals before. So I thought like no big thing. I know what I'm doing. I did not know what I was doing. So for the record, this is not a tutorial. <laughs> Do not do as you see, but hopefully you can learn something watching my experience and I'm going to talk you through it and then I'm actually going to pop them off and do them again because I don't like not knowing how to do something and so I wanted to try again and try to figure out what I was doing wrong. I also watched um, a live that Miranda from Corgi's Wine and Nails did over in the Double Dip Facebook community and she had done nail wrap. And I was like, gosh, I got to go back and look at that and see if I can learn something. She made it look so easy. So I tried again and you're going to see the second attempt. And I think you'll see improvement and I'll share with you what I learned. But hang in there. I'm going to finish these dips and then I'm going to come back and talk to you about nail wraps.
I'm not gonna lie, I kind of forgot that I included filing in this video for you guys. So this is a long video. I included all of the things. I've had people appreciating the filing being included, so I'm gonna try to keep doing that from time to time. It is a little hard to file in frame, so I'm sorry when I pop out of frame here and there. But let me know if there are specific filing questions you have, anything that I haven't answered already or that you can't just um, gain from watching. I am happy to try and answer any questions. I'm no professional. I'm I'm just I'm just an at-home user doing my best to make pretty nails. So yeah, any questions let me know and I will try to answer them for you. But I'm gonna finish filing here and as you can tell, not much filing was needed. Again, like when you have good liquids and good powders that go on smoothly, really liquids make a huge, huge difference. I could not believe how smooth my nails were. Like I, I really took the e-file around the cuticle to just kind of smooth that transition from your um, product down to your cuticle, but they were so smooth. I hope you can tell in the video. I'm not lying, it's for real. Anyway, I'll be back with you guys in a minute to talk about those nail wraps. Okay, so here comes the nail wrap. Again, not a tutorial. I'm gonna tell you what I did and tell you what I learned and hopefully do better for you next time because I will for sure be back with more of these. But what I recommend is a gel base. So what you're gonna do is apply your gel base. I'm using Triple D gel base, which I love, super smooth. And then you're going to flash cure it, whether that's 5, 10, 15 seconds, whatever. I think it kind of depends on your nail lamp wattage. But really, even if you cured it the whole 30 seconds, gel base has like a tacky layer to it. And that's what you want is just kind of the sticky finish. So your nail wrap has to go in water. They're water slide de decals. So they have a backing to them. And you'll see what happens. So when you pull it out of the water, they kind of slide off the backing and you want to be somewhat gentle. I was scared to rip it, but it does slide off like that. And then um, you can dry it off a little on the paper towel if you have a bunch of excess water, but because I kind of messed with it for a second, it wasn't, it wasn't real bad. And then you want to go ahead and line it up on your nail. So I try to cut them fairly close to size before I put them on my nail. Um, I got as close as I could. And then what I really need to get is one of those silicone tools because pushing it around with this 
orange wood stick and even with my finger like they're delicate they're they're really thin and i i messed up the finish so it kind of instead of looking like a an argyle sock or sweater it looks like a weathered one because i kind of beat it up a little bit so um after it applies the directions say to let it dry for like i think it says 10 minutes um, I've never done 10 minutes for a water slide decal before, and I think it really depends on the top coat you're using, but I don't want to stray you from the directions. And maybe had I waited 10 minutes, it would have gone a bit smoother. Um, but anyway, I waited a little bit with this. There are the directions. Yeah, it says a minimum of 10 minutes. So maybe I should have done that, but we're going to see. And then it says apply a smudge free top coat. So you can use regular polish. You can use whatever. Um, I had this like extra length and what I've seen before is like bend that over and then file it off. That was not a good idea you guys. I just kind of tore up the edge of the decal and it didn't look good. So that was my mistake. It's not a product problem, it's that I needed to learn how to do these better. So. Um, you're going to see me finish filing it off and then doing a gel top coat on top, which sealed it in perfectly and is all great, but it just basically sealed in my mistakes. So you'll see in the finished picture that it's just kind of torn up around the edges. There are some, um, just kind of, I don't know, white spots in the decal itself because I maneuvered it so much with a harsh product like the wood stick. So I definitely recommend um, one of those silicone nail tools. I ha I've ordered a set from Amazon, so you will see them in an upcoming video for sure. But you can see how much filing I was doing around the edge and it just kind of kept making it worse. So anyway, so live and learn, don't do that. Not a good idea. And I think if you were going to file at all, a glass file would be a great idea because they're super fine and probably not going to tear up the decal as much. So I'm going to top coat. You'll see what it looks like. Um, like I said, it it looks like I really liked the look of the nail wrap. I just felt bad that I really screwed it up and I didn't want to represent it like that to you guys. So this is activating and top coating my other nails because I also wanted to see how the base and top coat in one liquid worked and that's what you're gonna see so um, go ahead and watch me activate and then do my top coat I think the top coat turned out great so if you want to simplify like say you're going on vacation and want to bring liquids with you and you want to bring less stuff in your luggage I think this is a great solution so you're gonna have your activator and then your base and top in one liquid so cool concept Go ahead and watch me top coat. You'll see a finished picture, but don't go anywhere because I'm gonna come back and walk you through another decal. Okay, so my stubborn self is back. I've popped off the two nail wraps, re-dipped in white, and now I'm back at it. 
So I'm speeding through this part a little bit because it's a lot of the same. So you apply your base flash cure, but I made sure to cat my free edge pretty substantially and make sure I got a little bit of the gel base on the underside of my nail because something that Miranda was telling me is that once you get the nail wrap placed where you want it, you literally wrap it around the top of your nail, which makes sense because it's called a nail wrap. And if you have that gel base in place, it's going to kind of hold it there on the underside of your nail. So after you get it in place and wrap that around, I believe you can pop it back in the lamp to finish curing your gel base. I did not and it worked fine. So either way, pick your poison. But I didn't have that silicone tool and Miranda was like, do you have a pencil with an eraser? Because that's a soft tip. So that was a little more gentle on the nail wrap and didn't give me those like white spots that I was getting from using a harsher tool like an orange wood stick. So I'm sorry a lot of this is out of frame. I was trying to get it right. I wanted to show you guys, but I also didn't know what I was doing. So I also wanted to show you that sometimes you don't get it right the first time. Not everything's perfect like on Instagram. So learn from my mistakes as much as you can because I'm out of frame. So I'm applying top coat and once you cure that, it's like a hard candied shell and you can just peel away the layer that's wrapped around under your nail and it gives you a clean edge. I also did that out of frame. So I am so sorry, but I hope you get the picture that you can just kind of peel that part off and there's no filing involved. So this is how it turned out much better than the first time around. Still got a ways to go to perfection, but I'm going to keep trying. Thanks for bearing with me today. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next vid. Bye now.